Nah, uh. -uh. Hubby to the rescue. I have a bottle in there too. I'm gonna take it, I'll warm it up. Hi guys, I'm back. Anybody ever hear of Cook's Country? America's Test Kitchen? <laughs> America's Test Kitchen. Cook's Country? Or am I just like 100 years old? America's Test Kitchen, Cook's Country. I think it was a magazine at one point. My mother used to get the magazine. Now they have it like a full-blown show. It's been on for years. I don't know if it's still on. But they basically test recipes. And they tell you like the best possible outcome, what you should do to have the best possible outcome of that recipe. So if you're looking for good recipes, that's where you need to go. I am making, um, we decided on Big Mac salads. So I am just loading my dishwasher from the sink of shit that's in here. Um, and then I'm gonna make Big Mac salads. I'm gonna Google a recipe for like a Mac sauce and try to recreate. I am making Big Mac salads. Do you guys like Big Macs? What are you making for dinner? Thank you. What are you guys making for dinner? Thank you guys. This is so sweet. I just wash my bottle quick. This is when I have the free time. <laughs> pasta. I love a good pasta. I try to not eat that much pasta during the week. Like, I was someone that was super strict on like a diet. This was before I had, before I got pregnant with Mariella. Um, and it just like didn't help my relationship with food. So now I'm just on like that balanced lifestyle, you know, like in moderation. <sighs> Thank you. Ooh, pasta with Alfredo sauce, sausage and peppers. That sounds delicious. A plate of Zoss pretzels and pepper jack cheese. I mean, those pretzels are so addicting. Did you ever have the honey mustard one? Did you ever have the honey mustard one? Those are so good. I'm watching bottles right now. Very exciting life, guys. Basil pesto with sausage, delicious. I figured Big Mac salads were easy. I could just fry up the burgers, fry up some onions, or maybe I'll do raw onions, like what's on the Big Mac. Um, and I could just make a quick salad. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm basically on FaceTime with you guys because I'm scrubbing bottles right now. <laughs> I can't even believe there's 120 people that want to watch this. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. It's so hard for me to do a live, like commit to the live, because you never know what's going to happen, like who's going to need me. And I hate that I like jump on and jump off. Thank you so much. What are you guys 
you making for dinner? Are you doing takeout? Or are you cooking today? I kind of regret taking out ground beef, but here we are. I'm not really a fan of ground beef. Thank you. I am from Queens, New York. Yeah, not far from Brooklyn. Um, and I'm sure the weather in Florida is beautiful. What's the matter, babe? What can I make healthy with steak? Um, I feel like a wedge salad goes great with steak. Um, roasted broccoli. Cauliflower, mashed cauliflower. That's what I like to make with steak. I'm from Harrow Beach. I would definitely do a mashed cauliflower with steak. And like mushroom and onion. Yes, I heard the weather in Florida is so nice. Like in the winter, it's like not too hot. I know where Middle Village is. Somebody was from Middle Village yesterday, actually. And I asked her if she's ever had Rose's Pizza. I also used to go to this good place in Brooklyn called Carmine. They had really good pizza. Thanks for sharing, guys. That's so sweet. I was asking them what, what you wanted to see more of. And people said eating, but my meals lately aren't really that exciting because I'm not really eating too crazy. So my meals lately have been like, they're good. They're just, you know, like routine. Nothing crazy. All right, I'm almost done here and then I'm going to start cooking. Um, I always wanted kids. Yes. I was honestly single most of like my... Um, teenage years I always like worked so much and then I would just like party honestly like if you knew me when I was 15 or 16 you, you don't know me um I knew I wanted kids eventually you know but once I met my husband I was like now I like know what the feeling is to actually want to start a family you know what I mean Thank you. I try to give my kids variety because I don't want them to be like, you know, only want macaroni and cheese and chicken nuggets. And I don't say that, meaning I don't get that to my kids. And my daughter tells me nobody would eat that every day if I allow it to. Um, but I also want them to have variety, you know, moderation. I did the baby led weaning with my other daughter also. And she is a pretty adventurous eater. So... Do I recommend the Nespresso? So I love the Nespresso. The only downfall I can say about it, um, it doesn't get very hot. So if you are someone who likes your coffee like super, super hot, then the Nespresso is not the, not the thing for you. How do I keep my house so clean? <laughs> my house is chaos. Um, I just can't live, like, amongst cr craziness. I'm going to cut up some onions. I'm going to fry up um, some onions for the burgers. Let's see what, I'm, what I have for my salad. I'm someone that like if the if, if there's chaos around me, it actually affects my mood. Hi. Delmar in Brooklyn, I'll have to try that.
Tell me if you want me to make you a bottle. Okay. I feel like when people think of Brooklyn, they automatically think of Ellen Bay. And there's so many, like, Ellen Bay's good. I'm not, I'm not hating on it. But there's so many, like, better places in, you know, Brooklyn for pizza. Maybe not better, but different. I'm making that. Thank you. I did a bunch of things before I was a stay-at-home mom. I've, I've done so much yet. <laughs> um, I worked on Mulberry Street for a few years. Okay. I was a groomer. Most recently, I was um, working in a dental office doing their billing. Yeah, people who live in Brooklyn don't go to Ellen Bay. It's like a tourist location. I'm not hating on the pizza. It's delicious. Like, I'll still, I'll still stop there when, like, I drive through. But it is a tourist location, I would say. Hi. Yeah, Chicho's. That's what my husband says, but she's still yet to try it. Is that the one with the sesame seeds on the crust you said? So, my husband says Chichio's is really good on Avenue U. I've never had it. He's been telling me about it. I've been with him almost 11 years. He's been telling me about it for 11 years. Still haven't tried it. But um, he said they put, like, sesame seeds on the crust, which I love that. When I grew up, there was this pizza place, Lenny, that um, the place was called Lenny's, and they used to do that as well, and it was just not good. I'm just having it warm up, babe. Yeah. Thank you guys. I am making Big Mac salads for dinner. Now I have to look up a recipe for Mac sauce. It's funny because he's tried to take me there so many times, but when me and my hubby go out for like a date night, we like to eat crazy shit. I'm not gonna go eating pizza on a date night, you know? Like, I'm like, I don't want to waste it on pizza. <laughs> yeah, I love the seeds on the cross. Super underrated. Usually that's semolina flour, too. I'll have her eat with us. I'm gonna make her a little uh, ground beef on the side. Cool. Yeah, I love that. The seeds on the crust, so good. Love it, love it. I also love a good chicken roll, you know? Have you guys ever made uh, mac sauce? Yeah, the chicken roll is so good. Let me get a big bowl for my salad. Hi, what are you guys doing? So, that's it. We didn't do much today. We went to breakfast. I took Mariella to breakfast. I went out with my friend. Um, I stopped at Harmon's. I'm still trying to find my daughter's oatmeal. It's funny because you guys are saying you can't find it, and now I can't find it either. So <laughs> I went to two different Bye Bye Babies. I'm going to show you what's in it. So, so far, I'm just cutting up the romaine. I'm going to put some dill pickles like in the salad itself. You guys know if you put this in a cup of water it'll grow another head of lettuce it takes like forever and it makes you like seven lettuce leaves so i don't it's like not enough for my household but it works
Thank you. I, I don't know how I'm ending up on the FYP. I, I really don't. I'm just posting videos. Yeah, the chicken thighs are so good. And it's, it's such a, like an easy weeknight meal because it's all in one pot. You can even make rice and like put that juice over the rice. Yeah, those let me know how those uh, chicken thighs are. Let me know if they come out good. I live in New Jersey now. I am from Queens, New York. I used to live in Howard Beach, which is like on the border of Long Island. Right now, I'm making a Big Mac salad. Loaded mashed potatoes, chicken in the oven. Yeah, I need to clean up. I know, doesn't that suck? Usually, if my hubby's home, he does the cleaning. Like, I don't even have to ask. It's just like the standard rule. Yeah, I, I cook very simple shit, let me tell you. Ooh, Astoria, there's really nice restaurants over there, too. Really nice restaurants over there. That used to be, like, where I used to go to party back in the day. There was also a really good uh, Mexican restaurant over there. I wonder if it's still around. It was called Blue Chips. Do you, did you ever have that? I want to cut these onions very small because I don't want them to be too harsh. So I'm going to dice them pretty fine. I actually don't love this knife, but I think my other one is dirty. And I don't hate it enough to clean the other one. Greek food, yeah, that's true. There is a lot of Greek food over there. That's just the type of neighborhood that it is. Um, good food, though. Very cool. Thank you. These onions are making me cry again. I think just a half is enough for this. It's a pretty small salad. Yeah, the uh, very good Greek food over there. Those dill chips. Yeah. I am making Big Mac salad. So I just put some romaine in here. I have some chopped onion. Now I just have some dill chips. These are like actually the hamburger pickles. And I'm going to chop some of that up. And then I'm just going to fry the burgers like last, right before we eat it. Because I cannot eat a cold burger. Oh, and I have American cheese. You can't eat a burger without American cheese either. And I'm going to make a homemade mac sauce. I met my husband on the internet. It's so funny how many people ask me how I met my husband. I met him on Plenty of Fish. And this was almost 11 years ago. Yeah, you know, usually the onions don't really bother me. I did read something, though, that it means your onions aren't fresh. And, I mean, I go through onions like crazy in this house, so. I'm going to just do, like, little little strips of the pickles. The Big Mac sauce is going to essentially be your dressing. So you're not going to really need a dressing. Oh, maybe I'll put a little more. My hubby loves pickles. Fried onion smash burgers? Yeah, I actually just made those recently. Ew. Yes, this is something I, um, I used to be on keto like years ago before I had my second daughter. And I used to make this all the time. <laughs> Thank you, but I'm sure your mom is super cool too. <laughs> You know, I could really take or leave pickles. I feel like a burger, you need it. But my hubby loves them.
Thank you guys so much. Yeah, I mean, on this app, people go like crazy with pickles. They stick like shit in them and they dip them in candy and stuff. That's crazy. Moki! Um, I know I put pickles, but I'm also going to do cucumbers because I have to get rid of these. And I'm just trying to bulk this salad up. First in, first out. No, I'm in Middlesex County. By the East Brunswick area. Yeah, those like ta tahine pickles. Those are crazy. I could imagine how much sodium is in that shit. I mean, I would try it, but I'm not going to go out of my way to buy it. So this is literally the simplest out. Like besides the cucumbers, this is what you're going to find on your Big Mac. Romaine, onion, pickles, and I just added a little cucumber for an extra crunch. I think I'm going to put a little crispy onions in here too. Double onion action. American cheese on your burger, right, babe? I have my hubby somewhere on the on the on my page. If you scroll down, I did like a video a while ago. Um, he's like in and out. Thank you. These are temptation bowls. My mother actually gave me these. She's obsessed with temptation. Did you ever hear about them? I think it's a QVC brand. Um, and she's obsessed. I'm making Big Mac salads, Lauren. Big Mac salads. I'm going to fry up the burgers now. Yes, I have a mirror in my pantry. And I actually didn't put that here. That was there when we moved in. And I'm like, hey, I'm not going to get rid of a mirror. <laughs> I kept it. My mom loves QVC. And she's like mobile. She goes out shopping and stuff. But... These bowls are beautiful. I have, this is the large one. I have a medium one and a small. And they're so easy to clean. Maybe it used to be a closet. You're right. I never thought of it that way. Although when I was looking at the house, I did go through it. Like I always used to open the fridge and see what the people have. <laughs> I'm sure people didn't like that, but. Um, I can try to. I could try to make a video after. I'm going to just fry up the burgers now. I'd like to eat by at least 5.30. find my page anyway H have i been on the fyp People say it feels like they're on FaceTime with me. That's so funny. Oh, I love that I'm on the FY Bay. Okay, that's cool. I, I mean, I, I've been posting for, even on TikTok, not TikTok, even on Instagram, like way before this. I think what got me on the FYP is my daughter because she's really cute. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, exactly, because of my daughter. <laughs> I agree with that. How do you guys like your burgers? Oh, yeah, I was doing the advent calendar for a while. I get that cheese advent calendar every year. Last year, I bought one from uh, Costco. I said that in one of my videos, and it was way better than the Aldi's one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I need to, like, we tell them, bring it mooing. It needs to still be, like, bleeding. I cannot eat well done meat. Has to be rare. Rare, rare, rare. My mother says she wants it to talk to her. <laughs> I 
Thank you. Thank you. Hi. I'm gonna make a little patty for Mariella. I'm gonna make this little baby patty for Mariella. And hers I won't salt or anything because she doesn't need the excess sodium. So I'll just make like a very flat burger patty for her. No cheese yet. I still didn't give her dairy. I'm waiting until she's six months. Not that it really matters because, I mean, she's six months in a few days. What's going to freaking happen from now until those three days? Yeah, you have to eat raw. You can't eat an overcooked burger. Or steak. Ugh. Thank you. I actually grew up with a Mary Ellen. She was very sweet. I'm from Queens, New York. Where are you from? I, I saw this trick one time. I don't know if it actually works. Where you put a hole in the middle and then it doesn't like plump up. They stay this size. I, I don't know if it actually works, but we're gonna try. This is Mariella's little burger. My daughter's names are Serafina and Mariella. Thank you. Yeah, that's tiny burgers for Mariella. <laughs> yes, I have a dog. I have a Lassa Opso. Her name is Mocha. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to fry up the burgers now. Salad's done already. While I'm frying the burgers, I'm gonna wing some sort of Big Mac sauce. I know it has relish, I know it has mayo, and I know it has ketchup. So, we'll see. I'm gonna go on the Googs and see what the Googs tells me. <laughs> so funny. Um... Yeah, she's she she's a good dog. She has um she's very territorial. Not as much in her old age, but she was very territorial. Like I was actually nervous when I had kids. Like if she was gonna be not a good fit. But it ended up working out. Yes, Google to the rescue, of course. That's what I do. Straight to Google. Thank you guys. I mean, I don't want to say I didn't expect it to go to, to blow up, but I said to my husband in 2022, 2023 is the year that I'm going to go viral and I'm going to make money on social media. That's my goal. I'm not working. I'm a stay at home mom. Um, I'm recording videos anyway. I'm constantly doing stories on Instagram. Like I'm always on the internet. Anyway, I'm, I'm home. Why not? I have fun with it. Yeah, so my dog also hates other dogs. But she's she's fine with my kids. I guess I did it by accident. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I mean, honestly, this is what I do. I'll just, like, record a bunch of things. And then I edit it as I go, um, usually by like some sort of time throughout the day if I have the time. Um, but, you know, creating content and, and editing is, it's truly your job. I'm sorry. It's, it's like work. I'm not saying it's hard work, you know, but it takes time out of your day. Get a little olive oil to fry the burgers in. You could use butter too. Thank you. I did a lot of things before I was a stay-at-home mom. I catered, I groomed, I did medical billing, I did dental billing. I basically can like, you just put me in whatever it is and I'll just adapt. Ooh, let me know how the steak comes out. 
Um, I have this app called InShot. I think I might have paid for it. I, I wasn't even, like planning on paying for it, but you know how you do like the free trial and then you forget about it. Um, so I'm not sure how much it was, <laughs> but um, I have that app and I actually really like it. And I've been editing on there because if I post on on Instagram, it's you can't post a TikTok video that has your little watermark, like your TikTok watermark on Instagram because it won't get as much hits. And also, you can't, like those save apps where you save from one and it takes the watermark off of you, the words never line up with the lips and that drives me insane. Hi, Jordan. I buy, so it's, I like go through my stages with cucumbers. Sometimes I like those big salad cucumbers. Um, and sometimes I like the minis, you know, you got to switch it up. I got some stuff on Instagram, like they sent me free products. Um, ButcherBox um, used to send me free meat. But if it's something that I don't like, I'm not going to talk about it. Like I'm not going to make a review on something I don't like. Like, if it's something that I enjoy, I will come on here and talk about it, you know what I mean? Um, like, on Instagram, what did I get? I've gotten je uh, keto jellies, I've gotten, like, uh, bruschetta spreads, keto beam, butcher box sent me meat a few times. They also paid me for a review. But I, I, I love their meat, and then I stopped getting it because of shit that I was hearing about it. Something like they're stealing from local farmers. I don't know the, I don't know the logistics. You got to do your own research on it. Um, this time I bought the Botticelli. I do like the California brand. Is that what it's called? I like that. Also, Trader Joe has a, a good olive oil that comes with a spout on top. I, I like that one too. It's all, it's also pretty affordable. The um, the olive oil from Trader Joe trying to read some of these yes it depends like same thing with onions I need the white onions to cook and red onions I like for my salads so the hole in the burger I'm not sure if it works I, I saw it something on something and I just been doing it ever since it's supposed to not shrink your burger so it's supposed to keep your burgers nice and plump I'll let you know I feel like on the on the grill it doesn't work. Hi Jules. Yeah, the Filippo, that one's good too. As long as the olive oil, like if you're buying extra version, as long as it's pure olive oil, like I never buy blended or those mixed oils. I never buy that stuff. I'm 34 years old. I'm not in college. <laughs> How old do I look? Do I look do, do I look young? Must be the Botox. I am from Queens, New York, but I live in New Jersey now. I've lived in New Jersey for five years. Thank you. Thank you guys. I'm making Big Mac salad. I'll show you in a second. Mario's cute little burger. So I like to have the pan really hot because I'm not cooking them for long because again, we like them rare. So you want to get like a nice crust on them. So I'm going to let them cook a little bit on that side. And then I'm going to put some American cheese because there's no cheese that matters than American cheese. Thank you. I didn't even know I, I reached 10K. I hate cooking burgers inside also because now it's destroying my stove. Thank you so much, Costco hot dog. I mean, that there's no better username than that because I love a Costco hot dog.
Costco hot dogs. I don't know if they still do it. I think post COVID they stopped doing it. They used to have the raw onions and like the little turn thing. I don't think they have it anymore. This is just American cheese. I hate the massive burgers. I honestly would prefer them on the grill and my hubby probably would have did that to me, but he's with the kids right now. So I guess I'll sacrifice a dirty soul for that. <laughs> Where do you live in Jersey? Good old Costco doll. Is there anything better? I'm putting American cheese on them. And all I put on my burgers is salt. Because if it's good meat, you really don't need much. And you gotta taste that meat. I want to get a Blackstone so bad. My husband wants it too. We'll probably get one in the summer. Because like I have this whole thing in my head that I want to sit out in the morning and make eggs and like breakfast on the Blackstone and then go jump in the pool. So we'll see how that goes this year. <laughs> They're not cheap. They're like 200 plus. Which I don't mind spending it if I'm going to use it, you know. Let me take these burgers off. So I'm going to just cover them with foil. I'm going to tent them and just let the cheese melt. Yeah, I'm going to definitely get a black straw. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. They're still kind of plump, so it did work, yeah. I'll show you. I have them tenting right now because I want the cheese to melt. Okay, let's see. My favorite thing to cook. Hmm. I don't know. I would have to think about that one. I actually like really enjoy cooking, so. Like I enjoy cooking under circumstances like this, like where my husband's hanging out with my kids, I don't have to like stop and help this one, help that one. This is when I enjoy cooking. If I am getting interrupted 900 times, it's not really, it's not really that enjoyable, I have to say. Yeah, the Blackstone, you can cook a lot of shit on that. I'm gonna look up um, a Big Mac sauce recipe. Yes, I bake. I'm not like a huge baker. We don't really eat a ton of baked goods in this house. Um, holidays, I bake. Christmas, I go ham on Christmas cookies. I usually actually sell trays of Christmas cookies around Christmas. Um, and, you know, I bake here and there, but I definitely cook way more than I bake. I always say I prefer cooking over baking because cooking is more like a little of this, a little of that, and baking is like very to like the measurement. Like it's like a science. I have two kids. I have two kids. Let's see. I just like to know what's in it. I don't need measurements. Yeah, exactly. When you bake, you 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 have to measure. Which, honestly, that's not fun for me either. Because then I got to keep track of what I already did. That's another thing. My mind's from one thing to the next. Like, you walk around my house, there's a hundred started projects. I started doing this. I started folding laundry. I started washing dishes. Like, that's just what happens. Like, because as I'm doing something, I'm like, oh, wait, I got to do this. But then, wait, I got to do that. It's just nonstop up here. It doesn't stop. Thank you. No, my kids eat whatever I'm making. Like, tonight, my, my, my daughter, they'll both eat hamburgers. On the salad. If Serafina wants a bun, I'll give her a bun. But Mariella is going to have that burger. And I have some um, broccoli for her that I'm going to give her. I'm just going to make this mac sauce. And then I'm going to hop off. And we're going to eat dinner as a family. I 
I really try my hardest to do like family dinners as much as we can. It doesn't always work that way because my husband usually gets out later. Um, but when it does, I want to utilize the time. Thank you so much, guys. You're so sweet. And I don't want to say I'm one of those parents where it's like, you know, if my kid denies something, I'm not going to feed her. I won't make another meal. I'll be like, well, this is dinner. This is what you got in. And if you don't want it, then it is what it is. And then when she asks me for a snack in 10 minutes, I'm going to give it to her. At least I stand strong at dinner. And then whatever happens after dinner, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I completely agree. I, I feel like I have some sort of AD, ADHD or some shit like that too because my mind is all over the place at all times. Thank you so much, guys. My nails, I get my nails done in Staten Island. Um, this is just like something that I saw on the internet that I showed her. I told her to do the almond shape. I love how she shapes my nails. So the max sauce is mayo, pickles, lettuce, mustard. My husband works for corporate T-Mobile, T-Mobile business. Dijon, that should work. Thank you so much. We have been married for five years and I've been with him almost 11. So I'm gonna put some mayo. I'm not making a lot because it's just us. I make dinner like mostly every night yeah like on 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 the weekends we'll like a takeout um but usually like five nights out of the week i'm making dinner if we are getting takeout it's on the weekend i mean there is like the occasional where all orders are on the week but it's it's very rare very very rare yeah, Naz, that's what I just looked up. I literally probably have that same exact thing in front of me. It calls for white wine, but I don't have that because I drank all my wine. <laughs> um, so I'm going to just, um, I'm going to put Dijon mustard instead of yellow because I'm pretty sure Dijon has white wine in it. My favorite thing to have for dinner is sushi. I love raw fish in like all its form. I'm going to go heavy on the relish because we love relish in this house. I could be your friend. Um, and I'm using sweet relish, not um, not dill relish. Because I put dill, pickle, dill pickles in the salad, and I'm not trying to, like, overload on the dill. Yeah, so Dijon does have white wine. So instead of the yellow mustard, I'm just going to use the Dijon. And that just, you know, just levels it all out. This is what I like about cooking and not baking. You see how I, you see what I did there? You can't do that with baking. Okay, we'll put some mustard. And then just some seasoning. Oh, that was easy. Looks like it too, right? Put some salt and pepper. I am making Big Mac sauce because I made Mac salads. Where's my salt? I'm gonna taste that. There's some salt. Put a little garlic. Let me taste this. That's good. I need a little paprika. Where's the paprika? I'm gonna put a little bit of this Georgian spice. Oh, that's like sweet. This stuff from Trader Joe's is really good. It's so good on chicken and then grilled. It's like a pepper mix. 
The ingredients are crushed chili peppers, coriander, fenugreek, dried minced garlic, salt, and marigold. Random, but very good. Mariola is getting a burger, and I'm gonna give her some steamed broccoli that I have. I just like cut the like the florets. She is not eating lettuce yet, and I do not. Um, I'm not giving her dairy yet. All right, so I'm gonna put one of the salads together. The chili lime seasoning, yes, I love that on avocados. That's also really good on shrimp. Yeah, marigold. I, I, I guess that's an edible flower. I'm trying to see if I taste marigold. It's just like a nice, sweet, peppery seasoning. And I love it on grilled chicken because grilled chicken is such like a boring little palate, you know? Chili lime on popcorn? Yes, that sounds delish. That sounds delish. I'm just frying up a, a little onion because I like fried onion on my burger. No, it's a spice. It's a pepper spice. This is Big Mac sauce. So I made a salad. The salad has pickles, um, cucumbers, crunchy onions, regular onions. And then I made a Big Mac sauce and I fried up burgers. And we're going to eat the burgers over the Big Mac salad. So I am going to hop off now. So I can have a nice meal with my family before it gets too late. And I hope everyone has a great night. Thank you for joining. And maybe I'll try to post a video of the salad if I have time. I find a lot of recipes on Pinterest. I don't follow them. I just get like ideas, okay? Maybe tomorrow I'll hop back on. Have a great day. It should be like easier.